When we dealt with forces between charges, the amount of charges we usually worked with were, were pretty small. They were in the order of nanocoulombs. But when we work with circuits, in which we have a lot of power, there's a lot more charge involved. Let's take a look at this situation. We have a heating element in the toaster. It dissipates 900 watts when run at 120 volts. By the way, it dissipates it because it takes the electric energy, turns it into thermal energy, and it really literally dissipates it, kind of like spreads out into the room. Well, let's take a look at our, our preparation here. Okay, so we've got the filament inside the toaster. It's dissipating 900 watts when it's run at 120 volts. Well, power is equal to delta V times I. So as a warm-up, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to calculate how much current is in the toaster. And the current is just this. It's P divided by delta V. The power in the toaster is 900 watts. The voltage at which the toaster is run is 120 volts. And so I end up with a current of 7.5 amps. And I'm going to treat that as a preparation because that's really just kind of like characterizing the toaster. And with that number, we're ready, to do it. we're ready to do a solution because we're asked to find the charge that passes through the toaster. Well, the definition of current is this. Current is just equal to delta Q divided by delta T. It's how much charge passes a particular point in a certain interval of time. We're looking for the charge. The charge that flows is just equal to the current times the time interval. And that makes sense because the current is 7.5 amps, but an amp is a coulomb per second. And I multiply that by the time interval, which is one minute or 60 seconds. I have 7.5 coulombs. That's a lot of charge every second. That goes on for 60 seconds. And so I end up with a significant amount of charge, 450 coulombs. And so this tells us that we are getting a lot more charge involved here. But it's not piling up. It's just flowing through. The toaster is everywhere electrically neutral. There's just charges in motion. And there's a significant amount of charge indeed. Our assessment is this. A toaster is a pretty high power device. It's 900 watts. And so we expect a significant motion of charges. And in fact, that's what we find. We find a very, very large amount of charge in motion. And so this matches our expectations of how the world works.